Hi guys, welcome back. And today, in this video, we're going to talk about performance testing in Postman. This is an all new feature which is yet to be released to the public, but you can go ahead and raise a request, like an early access request. And once you get an access, you can go ahead and download the Postman Canary build and then start using the performance testing option. Everything is going to be done within your machine. I mean, the whole performance testing of your APIs can be done within your local machine itself. And I'm going to show you how you can do that. So first of all, you need to get the early access request of the postman. And once you do that, you are going to get an email, something like this. You can see that you have got an option where it says that you have got an early access to the API performance testing. And you can see that you can just click this Canary app to just get started, something like this. And once you do that, you are going to land to this particular page where you're going to download this postman Canary for Mac or Windows or Linux if you are using any of these operating system. Well, you can see that the link is quite straightforward postman.com slash download slash canary you can go to this link directly and you can download you don't really have to do the like a waiting list or something like that you can directly go to this link and then download the postman that is that straightforward it is i just downloaded this mac apple chip and then i have installed the postman within my machine over here and i'm going to show you the performance testing option of the postman quite straightforwardly all you have to do is it is very straightforward i mean you don't really have to do any code at all it's like super codeless at the moment all you have to do is you got to be importing the api which is like a graphql api or a rest api or whatever it is just import it and then perform the performance testing it that straightforward it is so all i'm going to do is i'm going to do an import over here and then i have to paste the url of uh, applications api and then i can start doing the api performance testing. So first of all, let me start my application over here. And this is the application which I have been using quite a lot these days for my Udemy courses as well as in my uh, other playlist for chat GPT to do a lot of automation testing. That's exactly the same application it is. And you can see that I have this particular product API and I have got the swagger.json over here. So I'm just going to copy this swagger.json and I'm going to go to the postman and I'm going to paste this URL and it's going to tell me that choose how to import your API uh, in the Postman collection or something like that. So I'm going to say, I right, just go ahead with the Postman collection and import it. And you can see that it has given a name called as product API. I have got all my endpoints being imported. Update, get product by name, ID, delete and create. That's exactly the same definition that I have got over here in my Swagger documentation. I'm just going to go and try to perform some operation here. But before we do that, we also need to set this base URI. And you can see that it has automatically taken this time because the GraphQL environment, environment variable is set for me over here. I have already created that over here. And you can see that I've set the local host of 8001. That's the reason why this has been set. And now if I try to do a send over here, you can see that it is going to list all the products which I have got, which is quite straightforward, right? And now I'm going to go to the collection again. If I want to get by name, all I have to give here is the name, for example, I think mouse or whatever. And if I do a send up, oh, I don't think mouse is there. So monitor probably. And if I do a send, you can see that I have a monitor as well. So that is the get product by name. And then you can do a get product by ID and the id is going to be probably two and if i do a send you can see that i have got a product there and you can also perform delete or create or whatever it is but i'm just not going to do the delete or uh, create for now i'm just going to leave that as it is so because everything is working fine now we're going to do the performance testing of our application so before i even do that i'm going to show you like real time how our um, machines processor is really behaving as you can see over here at the moment if i just search for dotnet you'll see that the dotnet is really not using a lot of cpu power at the moment like it's all just quite idle because i'm not even running any of the uh, processor intensive tasks so far but now i'm going to do a performance testing i'm going to trigger the performance testing and you will see that it is going to spike up the dotnet processor uh, requirement like processor times and stuff so uh, you can just go ahead to uh, click this run collection over here from the three dots and you will see that there is a new option called as performance and this is pretty new this is brand new which is just available in this canary build and you can see that it has cool options so this is the option which we don't really have so far very very straightforward all it's going to do is going to do the performance testing of your application right from your machine you don't really require 
like a cloud deployment or something like that everything is available on the on out of the box over here and you can also see there is a documentation available over here so you can just click that and you can learn how the whole thing is gonna be done but i'm not really gonna go with the documentation because i've already read that i'll quickly show you how you can run the virtual users so for example if i'm gonna run like 20 virtual users i'm just gonna put 20 there uh, and the test duration i can probably say one for now just for now and then you can also do a load profile as a fixed or ramp up. Fixed means it's gonna do like a fixed 20 user count all the time. But if it is ramp up, it's gonna start from one, two, three, something like that. It's pretty much exactly the same idea of a load runner or J meter. Now everything is available in Postman, which is amazing. So I'm gonna do a run here. And once I do the run, you will notice that it is going to start executing it. There are gonna be some failure, just don't worry about it. I think it's because of the API not behaving properly. But now if I go back to our uh, .NET in the activity monitor, do you see that the CPU percentage is spiking up and even the CPU load is increasing at the moment. It's all because we are directly hitting the processors, um, the, the .NET and the processor is just spiking up over here. And you will notice that we have a average response time of like 14 uh, millisecond. Uh, and then it just keep dropping and just keep increasing as well. Just don't worry about all these things. But you will notice that right now it is hitting all the different endpoints for us. We can customize that as well. I actually forgot to show you that. I can just stop this and go to run again and you will notice that there are going to be all the different endpoints that you can choose from you can probably remove the uh, update or delete because i have not really did any of the uh, like for the update i have to pass the body i have not passed that similarly for the delete uh, i have not passed any of the option there and also for create i have to pass the bodies like a post command so i have not did that i'm just going to remove all these things over here i'm just going to do the run like get operation and now I'm gonna go with one minute and 20 virtual user. And you will notice that it's gonna do the exact same thing, but just that this time you, you will notice that uh, it is gonna be executing only these uh, endpoints. So we can choose which endpoints we wanted to run. We can run that particular endpoint alone, which is pretty amazing as well. And you will also notice that it is gonna tell you like total request being sent in this particular time frame, so it has sent like 540 so far and there is a request per second and the response time and total number of uh, minutes like like microseconds how much it takes and what is the maximum time it takes to respond and also the 90th second of the milliseconds which is very important and crucial for part for most of our performance testing analysis so that is also being captured here and it's also telling me if there is going to be any error percentage something like that uh, well i could see that the get product by uh, by id of two is uh, I don't know, for some reason it is failing. I, I don't know what is the reason behind it, but it was working fine uh, to be honest. But you can see that now that our performance testing is happening and I think it has stopped. Now, if we go back to our performance uh, tab again, if I go to run again over here, uh, and you will notice that the execution has just happened. And there is also an option available where you can perform, like you can see all the history of the execution which has actually happened. So I think if you go to this particular collection, the product API collection, and if you hit the runs over there, you will notice that there is a past run, scheduled run, and there is a performance run, which is gonna show you the performance run, uh, like a history of what has really happened. So it is all captured there, and you can just uh, click that particular run, and you will get this whole detail as well. So every time you just hover your mouse there, it's gonna show all these options. Not only that, you can also try adding some more tests here, and then you could able to execute that, and I can, you can also ensure that how much time it takes and stuff like that. So you could add on the top of it as well if you wanted to. This is what is the performance testing option that we have got with Postman, which is gonna be pretty awesome because it is going to save so much of our time writing so much of code. Now we don't really have to worry about how we can execute this performance testing in JMeter or Lower or something like that. We can directly use this Postman to perform all these operations because we know that Postman can be extended with multiple different scripts. And also now with the option of having multiple different users, pretty much like a virtual user, we are gonna be using this Postman even more with a lot of different operations. So that's it guys, this is about the performance testing option which is available in Postman. So let me know how it goes with you and please post your comment in the video below to tell like what exactly we can do, like how we can uh, execute or extend this particular uh, Postman's 
performance testing option even further by running them in the CI CD pipeline. Thank you.